What's up guys, Mr. Golden Thumbs here, and today I'm going to be revealing to you guys my draft champion strategy for Madden 17, and this is the strategy that has gotten me the most success and the most wins. I just won my third draft champion championship. That's the gameplay you guys have in the background right now. And I'm going to go over my strategy on how I've been winning. I think I have a 66% win rate, something like that, around that. So I thought I might share my draft champion strategies with you guys so you can get the best draft possible every single time. The most important thing when drafting your team in draft champions is to always remember to play to your team's strengths no matter what your play style is because guys you can't always adapt what the draft is going to give you to your play style but you can always adapt your play style to the draft that you get the most important players to get are going to be your core players which i have right here on your screen quarterback running back middle linebacker and one cornerback those are the four most important players those are the four picks you want to get out of the way first you don't want to wait to get these guys once you see that one good quarterback that one good running back you pick them up now the flex players are your second tier players let's say those are the least important these are the players that you can adapt to fit your play style depending on what you get during your draft so let's go over it real quick i'm not saying to you know get the first quarterback you see i'm saying you know get the best first pick you can get so let's say you get that first elite quarterback in the second round pick him up if you end up getting into a, a round where you don't get any of your core players in the three options get one of your flex players you're gonna have to make sacrifices guys so if you like to pass the ball first round you don't have any quarterbacks you don't have any receivers get a tight end if there is one available or an offensive lineman to be able to hold up and get your passing game going. If you like to run the ball a lot, you if you can get a running back first, go ahead and get him. If you can't get one, get another one of your core players if they're available. If they're not available, skip to one of your flex players. If you're thinking you wanna run the ball a lot, maybe focus on getting a lineman, maybe two. What I usually do is I get two linemen on the same side. I like to run the ball a lot. So whenever I can get linemen in the draft, I try to get two linemen on the same side. So either a left tackle, left guard, right tackle, right guard. But your core players are really important because once you get your core players, you can adapt your team around your core players and you're going to have to adapt your play style if it doesn't fit how you usually play Madden 17. If you focus a lot on the running game like me and you end up getting a draft where your first three drafts have four wide receivers in those drafts and you know you don't have any linemen or any decent running backs then you're gonna have to go into a pass play style it happens to me a lot guys where i end up with teams where they don't really fit my play style but i have to adapt and it still works out because you have the core players and the flex players to fit around that play style so it's really important to pay attention to that guys pay attention to what the draft is giving you i mean don't go chasing players that aren't appearing often in the draft but it's really important that you get your core players and then flex players maybe focus on getting you know at least one receiver i would say if you want to pass the ball a lot get two wide receivers maybe maybe three get a tight end in there uh if you want to focus more on running the ball load up on offensive linemen and get at least two from the same side and get a tight end that can block maybe save those receivers for last but it's always important guys to get those defensive players as well I would say focus on one cornerback first. That's why I have it in the core players and I have it again in flex players. I usually go for two corners. You can go for threes if they're available in that draft. Corners are kind of rare in the draft sometimes. I would say middle linebacker, of course, get that first. And then not always is it necessary to get a left outside linebacker or a right outside linebacker. The defensive ends are an option. They can get some good pressure. Maybe get uh, one to the left, one to the right. Maybe get both. You know, it all depends on how the draft plays out, guys, but it's really important that you settle for your core players early in the draft and then you build your team around them with your flex players and adapt your play style to fit the draft you currently have. Or if you're lucky enough and the draft gives you players that fit your play style, then go ahead and pick those up and then you can have the perfect draft champion team from Madden 17 and move up the rankings 
and probably hit that elite eventually guys you know i've been on a pretty good win streak using this strategy hope it works out for you guys leave a comment in the comment section below what play style you usually play in draft champions if you like to run the ball or if you like to throw it a lot let me know in the comment section below anyways guys hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content Till next time guys i'm out <laughs>